I made a video a few weeks ago on some night vision binoculars I picked up. Being into binoculars and cameras I thought they'd make a handy tool. Recently I was sent these from a company whose name I can't pronounce but the links are in the description if you'd like to check them out. Now before we continue, these were sent to me free of charge in exchange for a video review. I don't often review products sent to me on the channel and when I do it's on the condition that if it's rubbish I won't review it and I won't say something's good if it isn't. There is a link for these binoculars below with a discount code but I don't receive a single penny from any sales. Now that's out of the way I'll tell you about these binoculars and then show you some examples of the footage I took with them recently. The main reason I accepted these is because they have autofocus, or so it's said, which works with the press of a button, so while you can focus them electronically, they don't automatically focus. However, they do take HD video, saving it straight onto a supplied SD card. They take 10 megapixel photos and have a 20 times zoom, and take both regular and night vision photos and videos. On the front is the infrared LED array, as well as the lens, so like most binoculars of this type, it's actually a monocular. It has a nice sized display, works for 8 hours and takes just 30 minutes to charge. The buttons on the top are simple too. On the left there's a video stop and start button which is also the up button, and photo button which is also the down button. In the middle is the mode button, confirm or ok button, menu and settings button and then the on and off switch. Finally on the right is the zoom in and out buttons which when pressed quickly allow you to bring the image into focus. Turning the binoculars on now and we get this welcome screen and the lens and autofocus reverts back to its last position. These are actually moving parts in here. In the photo menu you can set the timer for recording, the resolution, continuous shooting mode, the quality, the anti-shake function and the quick review and date stamp. In the video menu you can set the resolution, cyclic record which records in a loop, recording on or off, I don't know why, and date stamp. In the secondary menu you can set the auto power off, the language, the date and time, format the SD card, perform a reset and view the firmware version. One thing I noticed which you'll see on the video is that it has the zoom level embedded in it and I couldn't find a way to turn this off so I'll feed that back. So now let's look at some sample video. This was taken at numerous points around the town of Brixham in Devon and most shots were taken of things I could barely see with my own eyes, if at all. I've included clips with the night vision LED turned on and turned off. Even turned off it has a high ISO level, so you can still see perfectly well. I should point out that there's three levels of infrared as well. These boats were in the pitch black. The lighthouse here was in darkness except the lamp on the top. This pathway was pitch black, you could barely see your hand in front of your face. So that's a look at a set of pretty good budget night vision binoculars. I wasn't sure about the see in the total darkness tagline, but it's quite accurate. The positives are, they do work really well, they're lightweight and the battery lasted me my whole holiday, I'd say I used them for a good few hours and there's still plenty of life left in it. Charging was around half an hour which is good. The display is nice and bright. They can be fixed onto a tripod and they come with an SD card. The negatives are, I need to find a way to turn off the zoom level on the screen, and the menus are hard to navigate in total darkness, it'd be nice to see the buttons backlit. Other than that, I was impressed. If you want to check out these binoculars, then there's a non-affiliate link in the description below.